Alright guys, we have control of Cecilia, and now we're gonna go head up to the northern pathway here. Um, I will tell you this now, Cecilia is most, is the hardest one for obvious reasons, because her defense is low and she can only cast magic. Now in Cecilia's, in most characters, in most of the characters' cases, I say conserve, like your MP, your, your arms and things like that, but in Cecilia's case, she needs to use her magic, so don't, do not shy away from using her magic, because, um, and try not to run because if you do run you're gonna take heavy damage when you get busted or when, when you get caught so first off you want to go back around here get a potion berry yeah you're gonna get caught and then you're gonna take massive amounts of damage and I'm gonna be honest like every time I come here to do like well I told you before that I well I couldn't tell you but yeah I recorded all this already and I actually I encrypted my hard drive and I lost all my recordings basically like I'm way farther than this. If I told you guys earlier then I completely forgot. But in that case, um, it 1 out of 20 battles, I'm being honest here, 1 out of 20 battles is the escape rate for Cecilia. It was horrible so yeah I took heavy damage so I'm recommending do not run off because yeah, you're, you'll be lucky to survive. So anyways, once you go through the staircase go up the stairs here, take the cell's path and you're one, and then here. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to ignore this stair here, go and take the right path. There you go, now go up the staircase. And then you're going to want to ignore all these stairs here. And just a little tip for all you guys, because I am nice and, and because this place is a pain in the ass. It, you're going to come, when you come across an enemy called, well not called, but he looks, he's basically a green goo. What he is, he, he is um, water based, so He'll absorb your freeze, your water magic attack. So don't use water magic attack. And in the opposite case, he will be vulnerable to fire magic. So go ahead and use flame on him. And remember, he's a green goo. Okay, so ignore all that. Then, oh man, I can't remember. Okay, yeah, go up the stairs. There you go. And go left, go up. And then through the staircase. And I believe you have about three more floors left. So there we go. Go straight. Ignore all these stairs, and we're gonna go down, ignore this, go down, go through the doorway, go through the right doorway, go up, and which way was it? Oh, okay. Was it right? I hope so. Darn it. Okay. So take the left path, go down the stairs, and then get the treasure chest. I believe it's a crest craft. No, I don't believe it's a crest craft. Magic carrot. Okay. Now go up the staircase. You can talk to the monuments for a bit more information. But go ahead and click the switch. So actually, no, it will go talk to the monument. The golden beast holds the song of the blue heart. That is the boss, the golden beast. We'll talk this one here. The blue doors will open when the three lights merge. That is basically what you've seen with Jack. Um, the blue light that, that he stopped up in front of the statue and it started glowing. Behind the doors lies the benevolent stone giant. Deep inside the ground, the stone giant waits for the blue heart. Okay, so that is a giant's cradle. That is um, the giant underneath. Alright, so we're going to take the right path first. And I kind of wish I had a hand pan because I can just shoot him across the way and get that treasure chest. Now, um, you may have noticed that you're getting to like one fight per floor. I know it's annoying, but unfortunately we cannot do anything about that without an advanced magic spell. So, if you've been taking quite a bit of damage, continue to heal yourself. Then you're going to take the staircase up. And this should be the last the last floor you go up. So activate the final switch. And go up the roof, uh, um, the open door staircase. Oopsie, there's this. And voila, we are finished. Now I'm going to make the final tri-pillar path video. And it's, this is where we're going to actually end, no, Rudy's, after Rudy's Pass, we're going to fight the boss and we're going to go stop off the next town. So, yeah, thanks for watching this one, guys, and catch you next time to finish off the tri -pillar.